Yesterday, we had wanted to test this engine. You saw our video where we were doing some testing on the street. We did some street hits, wanted to get the chassis tuned in with a new engine. Things were working really well. Last year at UCC, we got this thing on the dyno and it blew up in the dyno. And so I wanted to put this in the dyno because I knew on those street hits, we didn't put any real power through it. We didn't stress the engine. And so I needed to get this on the dyno to see what would happen when I started putting some fuel after it. Because we wanted to see if the new cam support would keep the cam from breaking. And luckily, it did just that. The cam did not break. But instead of the cam breaking, it actually broke the gear. So yay, it's, we solved one problem just to find the next weakest link. So the force is still happening. It's still pushing here and pushing here. But now the cam can't move, so the gear gave up. So once again, we have a motor that's no good. And uh, so this happened yesterday. We were hoping to be on the road today. So last night, we've, we've been working on a backup engine uh, that we possibly might take. And that became our big engine. All of a sudden, that became mega important. So literally, I was here till 8 o'clock this morning. It's 2 o'clock right now. I just got back from a little sleep. And, and so now we're... Uh, working on this big, our new engines. This, this, is, this is old technology. This is nothing fancy here. This is literally a 5.9 liter storm block. We filled it with concrete like a year or two ago. And so we're using just molly. These are cast pistons. These are not forged pistons. These are stuff I run in my street, street truck. And so we machined them out. These bowls look a little different because we did a bunch of machining to lower the compression. So we can make it live the big turbos. But uh, this is a simple, simple motor, 5.9 crank. This is literally standard bore, 5.9. This is classic 5.9, 12 valve right here. We're gonna run a 13-millimeter pump because I don't think this engine can handle the big pump and for any amount of time. So we're gonna run a 13-millimeter pump. It's been, I mean, this is 10-year-old technology. And uh, this is what we're gonna take the show. Mo we maybe should quit, maybe we should not go, but I think we can still make it in time and we can be competitive. Even though this is old technology, this is no slouch. This is still gonna be a, 1800 horsepower engine. So, I mean, if we can hook this up to the drag strip, we're not going to blow anybody's doors down in the dyno, but we can hopefully be in the top realm. And if, if our drag, uh, if our slip pole chassis works again, uh, hopefully we can do well enough in the sled pole that uh, we get invited back. I believe the top 10 get, a, get invited back, and after that, you have to re qualify. So, we're hoping to get a top 10 finish with 10 year old technology at this point. And uh, we got about 10 hours before we have to put this on the trailer. So yeah, UCC, hooray, always so much fun.